In this session, we'll take a look at SmartWorks Viva Transfer User Objects. This video applies to all SmartWorks Viva variants. From the main display of the Viva controller, whether it's a CS10 or a CS15, the layout's different, but the uh, steps are still the same. To transfer user objects, we would select the user, then tools and utilities, and then transfer user objects. Uh, in the user objects, quite often it comes up to default as all objects. It didn't in this particular case. But be careful with that one because that can take quite a while. There's a lot of objects that you're transferring from a controller out to a external media. Uh, so just kind of a warning on that one. Uh, what is a user object? It could be just about anything. An antenna list, a country specific coordinate field file, a code list, a coordinate system, a DPM job, uh, device lists, uh, jobs, RTK profiles, uh, we go down here, server lists, if you're using a uh, network that does not uh, automatically load the server list, you may have to load a server list in, uh, various different things. Uh, also, working styles. This can be handy if you set up a working style on one unit and you want to transfer it to another unit. Uh, to illustrate how this works, uh, the first thing that we'll do is transfer a format file into the system uh, for use for uh, a custom ASCII export. So we'll select format file, and in this case, the format file is in the config, or I'm sorry, the convert directory on the uh, SD card. So we'll switch this to SD card, and we're going to take it from there to the internal memory. The format file that we'll be working with in this case is called WGS84 PLN LWE. Uh, basically, it's a point ID latitude for Northern Hemisphere, Longitude, Western Hemisphere, and Ellipsoidal Height. It's a very simple little format file, but was needed for a specific application. Uh, once I've got all my selections here, we can see if we drop the format file list, that that's the only thing there, so there's really nothing else to bring in. Um, so I'll just select OK, and basically it's successfully transferred from the, CF, or the SD card to the internal memory. Uh, I want to transfer some other objects in another example, but right now I don't want to because I want to take a look and see what happened with that transfer, so I'll say no. Okay, if we go now to jobs and data, uh, export and copy data, and export custom data, we can see now that that format file is available for use uh, to use for the custom ASCII export, which it wasn't previously, and then we would fill out the other settings. There's a different video on exporting data, so I'm not going to go any further than that here. I just wanted you to see that our format file is now in the system and available to us. So I'm going to back out of here. And let's go back to our user, tools and utilities, transfer user objects. One of the common things that we need to do in setting up our systems is to bring in a coordinate system. So I'm going to select that next. And I've got some coordinate systems in on the SD card. This would be a trfset.dat file that I got from the uh, DVD, or these could be downloaded from my world because they're pre-made. And basically, it's got the six California zones for NAD83. Um, so in this case, I'd like all six of those zones because I may be working anywhere throughout that state. I could do these individually if I only wanted a couple of them or I could select transfer all objects and then just press OK and it will actually transfer all six of the coordinate uh, definitions into the, the um, uh, controller for use in our jobs. Now, I do want to transfer some more objects in this case because I need to bring in my geoid field file as well. So I'm going to say yes and now I'm going to switch to um, geoid field file and once again, it's on the SD card. It's in the proper place in the data folder under GPS Geoid. And I'm going from the SD card to the internal memory. Uh, you can see that I've got a couple others in there I could bring in. But this is the one that I want to go along with that coordinate system. I'll select OK. And it tells me the transfer was successfully completed. Do I wish to transfer any more objects? No. 
I'm done. Now if we go into jobs and data and we take a look at job properties on our example job and we go into coordinate system, we can see that there was no coordinate system as I had left it previously. That job should have been in California uh, 3, NAT 83, but there's one more thing I have to do before I attach that to the job. I do need to edit it and then of course select the geoid model um, from internal memory that we had just transferred in. Now I've also got it on the SD card, but I'd really prefer one in the internal memory because the SD card may not be in all the time. I say OK. Now I've got all the information I need for that California Zone 3. And if I press OK, we can see that everything's populated here and we're done. So the transfer uh, user objects is a very handy area. Uh, just to summarize, we'll go back to user, tools and utilities, transfer objects, and you can see that we can transfer a variety of objects either into or out of the system. Quite often, if we've got one system configured and we want to configure another one identically, we would transfer possibly to a USB or an SD card uh, from the internal memory on, on system A and then take that removable media, put it into system B, and then transfer the objects back in. So hopefully that uh, gives us a reasonable overview on the use of the transfer user objects. As always, if you require more information, check our website at lika-geosystems.com. For support, send an email to survey.support at likaus.com or you can make support inquiries and obtain other information from my world. If you haven't registered for my world, we'd recommend that you do so now.